Motorists driving up I-75 north of Knoxville would never guess as they pass the La Follette and Carryville exits. They're within a few miles of U.S. coal in Carryville, Tennessee. At Mine 6B, coal miners are getting ready for the first shift. Armed with a hard hat, a light, and emergency air device, you begin to realize this kind of work isn't for everyone. As miners lay on what's called a man trip, it becomes obvious how tight the trip will be to the center of Carryville Mountain. It takes about 15 minutes to get where the actual mining occurs. A few minutes in, the temperature becomes a comfortable 60 to 65 degrees, no matter what time of year it is. To these coal miners, each turn represents a period in time, a previous job accomplished, as they push further into the mountain. Miners have worked in this mine in Claiborne County for almost three years and have almost completed their work, taking out a large seam of coal embedded in the center of the mountain. The path in is smaller than where the coal deposits are. In some areas, the ceiling is a mere three feet above the ground. The only source of light is provided by the individual battery pack each miner carries on their waist and is attached to their hard hat light. For most of us, it's hard to imagine working underground every day, but for many coal miners, it's a very common way of life that's been in their family for generations. The digging is done with what's called a continuous miner, a massive digging machine with hinged sections that allow it to navigate the winding tunnels, dig the coal, and send it back to the surface on conveyor belts. The continuous miner has a number of features that make this type of mining safe and productive. A miner utilizes a controller which allows the miner to operate the cutter from a safe distance as it breaks away coal from the seam. Water sprays on the coal to keep dust levels down and like a vacuum in reverse, dust is blown away from the cutting area as the continuous miner digs. The machine monitors methane gas which is embedded in the coal. This gas has no odor and can explode if it's too concentrated. The machine automatically warns miners if the concentration is too high. Additionally, the foreman checks the methane gas every 20 minutes with a handheld instrument. Long gone are the days of bringing a canary into the mine to check for dangerous gases. As the front end of the machine digs, the other sections follow as they creep around corners and feed the coal toward the surface. The noise is tremendous. So miners utilize hand signals and their hard hat lights to signal when to move. After an area has been mined, polarized limestone is thrown on the walls of the mine to keep down coal dust. And roof bolts are inserted four feet into the rocky ceiling of the mine, creating a protective beam. In the old days, railroad ties were used to prevent cave-ins. It goes without saying, these rugged Tennessee coal miners become close in these tight quarters, every day sharing an experience at work unlike any other occupation. But for the miners at U.S. Coal 6B, it's just another day at the office.